Hey guys, let's make a drink. Take your favorite cup and put some ice in it. I really wish I could find a cup with pansies on it, but truth be told, I haven't been looking that hard for a pansy one of these, but ice. You can see the dishwasher's wearing off more paint. Today, we're gonna start with whatever this is. Vanilla Coke Zero. Open that up. Into the cup. Uh oh. Try not to foam over. Could sing a song. You don't want to hear me sing songs. Singing songs is not in my strong suit. Alright, that's almost... Alright. There we go. Uh, let's put that over here because I actually moved my trash can a little bit farther away. Today we are playing with raspberry syrup. Good stuff. I suppose I should show you what we're up to. One, two, three, four. Four bits of the uh, raspberry is typically perfect for me for a 12 ounce can. I left my stir stick somewhere so we're going to slosh that around a little bit. Hope for the best. Try not to spill. Try really hard not to spill. That is really good stuff, guys. Go make your own drink. Enjoy! Hi, everybody! How are you today? I'm coming to you late. Honestly, I just came home from work on Monday and I did not feel like um, doing a video, so I didn't. It's Thursday and I feel like a video, so we're videoing. Okay, forgot to get my magic white bit of cardboard up here so I could, you know, have something solid to put my stitching on when I show you the... Progress report. All right, this one, you guys are probably the most excited about, maybe? I don't know. But here is progress on my Pansy Fairy from Mara Corbett. And I have started putting on her beads. You can see I've got all the beads done right around her hair and some of them up in the uh, umbrella that she's carrying around. I have maybe three or four more beads to go in the umbrella before I have to move the hoop and decide which way I'm going to go. If I'm going to go down on this side and just kind of grab everything or if I'm going to switch back and forth as I go along picking some up here and some up there. So that is my current at work uh, project because I haven't got the um, second part from for the uh, Lizzie Kate mystery uh, sampler uh, yet. I ordered it from 123 Stitch on Monday, but guess what? US Mail didn't run on Monday, so it's not here yet. I checked on it. I checked on it. It was mailed out, you know, Tuesday, like normal, and I checked on it. And this morning, Thursday, it had been um, sent from the Provo sorting facility down to the Springville sorting facility, but that was at like 10 in the morning, so maybe tomorrow it will come. That will be awesome. So. Should have held that up longer for you to look at, but I, I just, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Completely. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Okay. So the next um, project that I have been working on has been the Oh Holy uh, Night Nativity from the, uh, oh my goodness, who are those people? Stony Creek. And so, as you can see, this week I finished up the, it was the, uh, the staff and this little bit of robe above the staff. And I managed to put that whole sheep in, all of the sheep fit. There is a little bit of red robe that I need to do here and down here um, before I move the hoop that is part of the next shepherd that's going over here. And I haven't decided if I do want to move over here or if I want to move up and finish the top half of that little shepherd guy. But 
it's a nice project moving along pretty well I think um, I'll probably settle in and work on that what are you doing cat I don't care you've got to stop it she's rubbing her head on the bottom of the cabinet it has a door on it which hey, you may me you may know or may not know about depending upon how long you've been watching me or you know remembered the in, the intimate details of my my craft room which seriously I can't remember the layout of most of your craft rooms so I certainly don't expect you to have my craft room memorized anyway she's rubbing her head about against that making the door rattle making the couple of sun catchers that I have on the door rattle speaking of which I bought a pansy sun catcher can't wait for it to show up I don't know if that'll put it in the window because my windows have really bad luck because the sun hits it it heats up the um, air expands in the suction cup forces the suction cup off the wall next thing I know I have a crash and a pile of glass on the floor and a slightly frightened cat so anyway next um, I did spend a lot of time this week working on getting a project ready for um, the theater that I told you about last week so I will have a theater project we don't start until November 1st so I thought I would work on some simple Lizzie Cates they don't have a lot of colors don't require it a lot so I pulled out um, let's see be silly be honest be kind be your own kind of beautiful um, do small things with great love and then I sliced up the fabric left over from my Chatelaine so this is 28 count Sprite by Picture This Plus. It's a really pretty uh, purple, lightly mottled, adorable, just just nice. So I cut those up, zigzag, zig, zag, did, 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 the edges, and got that all nice and arranged and ready to go. Um, I sincerely doubt, I really honestly, truly, sincerely doubt that I will be able to finish those three little sayings in the three months that I am working the show but um, you know never take an off day from crazy so I also pulled out all seven of the uh, three little words plus I printed out the free one off of the thing so there's like eight patterns for three little words figured out how much um, how big each pattern needed to be pulled um, this is a touch of blue 28 count yeah a touch of blue 28 count uh, from Witchilt. I sent it through my washing machine and it is just about as wiggly as it gets because I washed all the starch out of it. That may have been a mistake you guys because that was just way 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 too squiggly when it came to uh, zigzagging around the edges and trying to get everything set up so that you know I could just pull one and start it you know drop of a hat I might I'm, I'm considering going to get some best press which has a wee bit of starch in it and spritzing everything and ironing it down again before I really get started because woohoo I made that that witch help you know it could stand all on its own shelter a family of four to being just limp 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 anyway so there you go so that's my uh my prepared stuff for the theater, my theater project. So that is what that is. Wonderful amount of stuff. All right, let's shuffle a couple of things around here and then we're ready for stash acquisitions. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't even pause enough there to give myself enough time to make a break. We'll see how it goes. You guys will find out the answer here when I post. Okay, so I bought a few more things from uh, Pam over at A Stitcher's Paradise, which is the online store, not the fabulous store in Las Vegas, which cracks me up that you guys are just discovering and going nuts about it because I've been going there since like 2005. I don't know what your all problem is. Anyway, she's cute. She has cute stuff. I bought this series of um, Sam snappers. Snappers. I want to say these are Bent Creek. Ah, yes, they are Bent Creek. So we have a Santa face. 
we have a little Merry Christmas wishes. And then we have a little tiny deer. I thought they were cute and just about the right size for ornaments, but we know me. I've never actually managed to finish an ornament. I barely managed to stitch an ornament. Because, and you guys will laugh at this, I will stitch a big piece because I know a big piece takes a long time. I won't stitch a small piece because small pieces take way too much time. You figure that one out. All right, this is, what is this? Oh, this is Sam Sarah. Um, Saturday night out. I really liked it because of the Pueblo and the cactus. Totally, totally reminiscent of um, that one place, Arizona, where my grandparents live and where I like to go. But really what started the whole mess out is this Brent, Bent Creek um, kit. It has the linen and all the fosses. Look at those dogs riding the dogs. Happy trails. It was just way too funny and I loved it loved it so that's what started that um, little round of buying from Pam and then of course she sent a whole bunch of fun little freebies we've got Merry Christmas and Happy New Year we have a teddy bear wearing a Santa hat um, Scary Jack from um, it's a freebie from Shepherd's Blush and then a cute little booklet um, Am Alma, no, Jeanette Cruz Designs, Christmas Angels A to Z. Some of those I'll stitch, some of those probably not. I like the alphabet that they used for Noel, that's cute. Anyway, darling. So that was a set of freebies and stuff that I actually bought. Well, that's all the stitching that I bought that actually arrived. Um, like I said, I ordered some the, uh, pattern for the second Lizzie Kate from oh my goodness one two three stitch and of course no pattern can travel alone and I really really didn't want it to be lonely so there may be more than one additional pattern but you guys get to wait until it arrives all right so that being that um, the only thing I have is I have not been keeping up on the um, Christmas countdown box from Stitchy Box. Oh my goodness, you guys. Where is my brain? Where is my brain? So let's open a whole bunch of things and make a whole bunch of cat toys because we know that's going to go well. So what is today? Today's the 12th. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to open. So let's start out with day three, which means this video is going to be not short. It is floss. It is wonderful bright yellow floss. Um, oh, it's a needlepoint silk. Look how gorgeous that is. As expensive as, as, expensive as needlepoint silk is, it really is beautiful. Yellow silk, useful all year long. Great moonlight color. True enough. All right. Day number four. So how are you guys doing? Are you getting all ready for Halloween? Prepped and geared to go? What do we got in here? These are super cute, super tiny little black and orange buttons. Darling. Sew them onto things. They can be eyes. They can be butt pumpkins. They can be any number of things. All right, here it is day five. That opens super easy. Oh, it's a little bit of linen. I don't know where she's gone. This is R and R Productions linen. Um, Die, dyed with coffee. It's a nine by nine piece. Um, Patriots brew is what this one is called. Perfect for an ornament. It really is. I mean, yeah, nine by nine. Perfect for an ornament size. Should cover about everything. What was that? Five? Let's go with six. I haven't even decorated for Halloween, you guys. I'm okay with it, but it's not my 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 uh my passion 
so you can see I prefer Christmas. All right, this is some teeny tiny green rickrack. Look how small that is. That's stuff you would have to couch on, I would think. It's pretty. It's a good green. Let's see. Petite rickrack. Yep, couch directly onto your stitching. Neat. All right, six, seven. I don't know where seven went. I'll have to find seven eventually, so I guess we'll skip seven and go right to eight. Eight, eight, eight. If you're on Stitch Mania, you'll see that I took a, um, a thingy, uh, I took my, uh, Heirloom Nativity Sampler by the Victoria Sampler in to get framed, so, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, it's a button, it's a charm. This is a Blackheart Swarovski Crystal. There's no real front or back. But there it is. Very nice. For all of you black hearted beasties. Okay. What was that? Eight, nine. Here's nine. Anyway, the uh, woman who helped me figure out what I wanted to frame it and the fillets and everything else, she was really funny. She's like, we're really busy right now, so it might be a week and a half before I get it back to you. I thought that was pretty funny. I really? It's like two months for Christmas. I don't need it anytime soon. These are little tiny square beads. Fire polished, opaque, I don't know, little tiny square beads. Is it? Let's put it in front of my face and my focus. There you go. Beads. Little black beads for little black eyes. Creepy little eyeballs. All right, nine. Let's see, here is day 10. Anyway, kind of excited to get that. Um, I don't go to Joann's or Michael's or anything because I have a good local framer here. I feel like they don't jack up their prices um, unnecessarily. I'll tell you how much that thing ends up being costing me when it comes home. But I, you know, with the fillet and the uh, linen mat and the frame and museum glass, Still quite reasonably priced. Oh, it's a little kitty charm. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. Let's see if she comes into the room with me meowing. Meow meow. 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 We'll see. She's a chirpy kitty. When she's excited, she chirps. Day 10. Cat charm. Today is the 12th. Okay, 10 and 11. Kind of squishy. Nice and soft. Oh, wow. I made a mess. I made a big mess, my friends. Let's see. Classic color work silk in lasagna. That's a great orange. Slight variegation. Super pumpkin-y. Looks great. All right, and the last one for day today is day 12. It's kind of stiff. Let's see what we have in here. It is, let's see, beading thread, two ply, waxed nylon, light gray, size A from Fire Mountain Gems. Good for beading. That's what it says on the back. See? I'll let you read the back. Neat. Day 13. Tomorrow it looks like it's a pattern. Oh, day 14. Day 7 was probably that fabulous um, Dinky Dyes. Was it a Dinky Dyes? Was it a... Anyway, there was a beautiful inky black I'm sad I don't have a seven. Usually I don't care, but no seven. No seven. Anyway, if you've been online, you might have seen that um, it was a beautiful sort of an inky newspaper, ancient um, black um, color of, of floss. So 
that is everything with stash acquisitions. So um, while you get ready to watch the flubies, I'm going to have a drink of water. Not water. Raspberry. Vanilla. Coke Zero. All right, where are my fluby notes? Here are my fluby notes. And I have lots of fluby notes. Lots and lots. All right, let's move. Scoot the thing. I need to get, I need to get one of those rolling mats to go on my carpet because when I stand up to show you the projects a little bit closer, the chair rolls back and then it's slightly far back and I feel like I'm gonna fall off at any, any minute. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, so this is like two weeks of flubies, two and a half weeks of flubies, because I left my notebook at work. Bad me. Bad me. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to... I need to put those away. Whatever. It doesn't impact anything. All right, so the uh, first stitcher that I met is Pretty Southern. She joins the community from Instagram, so a lot of you are probably already aware of hers. Uh, she gives us an intro, shares some of her whips, and uh, she's just a cute joy, and I really enjoyed her collection of whips and finishes. Um, the next uh, lady stitcher I met, uh, Busy Lizzie Stitches. Uh, she enjoys giving her stitchy away, stitching away as gifts. Uh, shares a couple of her finishes and some whips. Uh, Let's see, a beautiful, I'm going to guess I wrote down dragon, who knows with my handwriting. A yeah, beautiful dragon was one of her first stitches, and I can't remember if she showed that one or had a picture of it, because she had some that she showed and had some that she had pictures of. All right, next up is Stonehouse Stitcher. She shares uh, her whips, um, including a chatelaine that is nearing completion. I think she only has like one side left to go. Uh, she shares her other whips. And just like almost everybody else on the face of this planet has started Halloween at uh, Hawk Run Hollow. Um, and then she had a whole bunch of, of haul that looked really fun. Lots of good stitching there. Uh, next, I met Homesteading on the home front. And she tells us that she is a longtime stitcher. She gives us a quick intro and in stitching history. Uh, shares a few of her finishes. Uh, and is currently working on some Christmas ornaments. Next, we have a Quilting Stitcher. Uh, she's working on a set of ornaments from Lizzie Kate's uh, tidying, tid Tiny Tidying series. I do love that series. I think I own almost most of them. Um, she, she loves uh, series stitching, uh, shares her whips, and was really quite fun. Uh, let's see, Tina Frazier. Uh, I met her on video number seven but she had only been going for two weeks before I met her, so she's putting the videos out there, my friends. Um, seven was a super awesome and very long whip parade, and it was really, really fun, and I'm not sure how I managed to uh, miss her start out. Well, actually, I know how I managed to miss her start up because with the changes that YouTube has done, um, on the sidebar where it gives you the suggestions of, hey, don't you want to look at these people next? I used to be able to hover over the channel name and it would pop up and let me know if I had subscribed or not. So that was a really easy way for me to see, you know, oh, here's a floss tube number one. Am I subscribed or not? No? Okay, let's throw that in the watch later list and, you know, I'll come back to it at the end of the evening and, you know, take these notes. But now it doesn't pop up. And so there are so many of us that I apologize and I am not instantly aware of, do I watch this person? Especially if you go, you know, two to three months between videos. I'm not always aware, you know, for the people who put up your videos weekly, bi-weekly or monthly, I have a pretty good idea of who you are because I see your name frequently. But if it gets to be any longer than that, I have a hard time going, am I subscribed to them or not? And since it doesn't pop up when I hover over your name, anyway, random rant about my annoyance with YouTube and their changes and not being able to uh, hover my mouse over a YouTuber's name to see if I'm subscribed or not. Just random, random. Anyway, more flubies. Let's do the flubies. Um, next up was uh, Elena, 
Elena B. Elena Elena B. Sister of Olivia B. Baker and Stitches. You've got to go visit her, her uh, bakery in San Francisco. Uh, she gives us an introduction to herself. Herself, not plural. Um, shares several of her finishes, uh, and she enjoys the uh, Satsuma Street uh, uh, patterns, designs. Um, really a bunch of fun whips, because how can Satsuma Street not be fun? All those bright colors and patterns and wonderfulness. Yes, please. All right. Um, I also met uh, Zoe G. Uh, she, star she, let's see, cute mom of uh, little boys. Uh, she shares her current whips and a recent finish. Um, she said she would give us the Know, know Your Needle Worker tag, but I guess she didn't because I crossed it all off. So anyway, go check out Zoe G. Then we have Rana's Realm. Rana's Realm. Is that an N or an R? Now I completely forget. <gasps> and once again, I can't read my handwriting. Anyway, uh, she shares us a beautiful finish of a Little House Needleworks um, neighborhood. It's huge. It's like that big. And it was just beautiful. Um, she is currently working on Six Fat Man by Lizzie Kate. And I do love me the Lizzie Cates. And she is planning on a big new start for the new year. Just like most of us. So go check her out. Um, she is in New Zealand. So you New Zealanders, go go give her a warm welcome. Everybody go give her a warm welcome. You, you, you Kiwis, go adopt her in. Um, next up is the Imperfectly Perfect Stitcher. She starts us off with a Know Your Needle Worker tag. Uh, she's working on a large, wimp, a large whip with a uh, vintage poster feel. Uh, she's stitching a lot, a lot of black because that poster is black and she's stitching a lot of black. Um, she's also working on a beautiful owl, Hade, Heaven and Earth Designs. So lots of fun there. And then the uh, last stitcher that I met in the past couple weeks is Angel from Angel's Crafty World or Angel's Craft World. Anyway, she likewise gives us a history of her stitcher. Um, she stitched, stopped, and is coming back to us. Up back to it just like so many of us have done. Um, she's working on Lady of the Met from Mir Mirabilia and she was cute. She has pink hair. How can you not like pink hair? So those are our our, our, our. <laughs> those are our flubies for the past couple weeks. Everybody as usual I'll try to put links to their channels below. Go check them out. Give them a warm welcome. Thumbs up, comments, and subscriptions are always appreciated. So that is that. It's time for the Battle Cow Adventures. Um, so like I went a whole week without signing into World of Warcraft and then I signed in finally on Tuesday and did a um, heroic raid with the group, and that was about it. I don't know if I signed in yesterday. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Who knows? Anyway, that's about my commitment level to the game right now. I think just because I know that um, theater's coming up and that I won't be doing, have time for hardly anything, because, I, seriously, I'll go from working 40 hours a week to 60 to 70 hours a week, depending upon the week. Um, I'm already regretting this decision, but I really want to go on the trip to the British Isles. So, anyway, that's that's that. So, I'm actually thinking about unsubscribing. My renewal day is coming up here pretty quick, so I'm thinking about unsubscribing while I'm doing theater, because I just, I won't have time. I will not have time. Okay, so the random life stuff. I showed you last week, Cindy sent me this beautiful thing that I just keep sitting right here. Plus a wonderful postcard when I was at the Walmart the other day. I got a beautiful frame. I put the postcard in it because the postcard is done um, in watercolor by uh, a woman who's actually out of Utah. She's uh, a local, so I threw that into the frame because I love me some pansies, so that's where it had to go. Um, other random life stuff. Oh, so two weeks ago, 
two, well, probably two, closer to three weeks ago um, on Jessie Marie's uh, Jessie Marie Does Stuff. So Jessie Marie was uh, doing her video and at the end she had gotten a lot of questions about the scarf that she was wearing. So she told, pulled it off, told us all what it was, and she had a link to her uh, Ravelry page there in the things. So I said, ah, let's go check out what Jessie Marie has knit and, you know, look at all her projects and stuff like that because I'm nosy like that. So I clicked on that and went down the rabbit hole and explored all the things that um, Jessie Marie has stitched. And, you know, you click on one thing, you click on another thing, and it's off, off you go. Well, I really liked the pattern for the scarfy thing that she was wearing that day. And so I, I have a Ravelry page. I don't knit or crochet or anything, but the purpose of my Ravelry page is so I can save things that I like so that I can call my, you know, I can talk to my mom and I said, hey mom, can you knit me a thus and such? And then, so my mom is my only Ravelry friend, so she'll hit click over to my page and check it out and, and see what it's going on. So, I don't know, that had to have been like Wednesday or so that Jessie Marie put her, her video out. It was a little bit later than, maybe, I, who knows, anyway. I could be making things up as far as dates go. But about a week later, I was over at Mom's house, and I was talking to Mom and Dad. And I said, I need, Mom, I need some things to be knit for me that aren't all purple. Because, you know, she knows I like purple. But the problem is, I got a lot of purple shirts. So a purple shirt and a purple scarfy thing. And I start to feel like I'm overloaded on the purple. And we should probably have, you know, maybe scarfy things in blue or green or pink or, you know, a variety of colors. So we're scrolling through and we're scrolling through and mom's looking at everything and I've sort of divided it up into, you know, I've got a group of shawls over here and then I've got a thing of like cowls and shawlettes over here. And we come down to the bottom of my shawls uh, cowl page and mom looks at this thing and she says, I've knit that, don't you have it? And I'm like, no, that's the one that Jesse Marie did. And that's, you know, where I started. And that's why, you know, it's, it's that, that thing. And mom says, no, I've knit that. I knit that for you. Didn't I give it to you? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't have that. So mom got up and went back to her closet and was rummaging around. And sure enough, she found the, uh, scarfy thing that um, she didn't give to me. Uh, Jessie Marie calls them scowls. Um, I've seen them called shawlettes or, um, or just a cow. So here it is. Here's my mom's version. I should just take it off my head for you guys. So Stardust might be the name of it. I don't know. You guys are going to have to go back to Jessie Marie's page and click on her, her Ravelry links. But here you go. So this is a color kind of goes from this super hot pink down through the magentas into a black. So my mom knit a scarf, nope, why, a shawl out of this yarn um, for my grandma. And as she got near the end, she was afraid that she wasn't going to have enough to finish off the huge shawl. And it's a big crescent shawl. I think it's the one pattern that she's actually knit three times. She knit one for grandma, she knit one for me, and then she knit one for herself. Same pattern, three different colors. Anyway, I guess that's dedication. You like a pattern enough that you're willing to do it three times. Um, anyway, so she had to buy a second ball of the same colorway and used a little bit of that to finish off grandma's, and so then she made this. Isn't it pretty? Love it. Anyway, with the rest of it. So that's how I got the same wonderful scowl as Jessie Marie does in like a week with no knitting. Well, my mom didn't have to knit in that week because she'd already made it for me and forgot that she hadn't given it to me. So there you go. That's the funny story of the week. Um, since we're talking about my mom's knits, she had knit this uh, scarf. Look at that beautiful wave sort of pattern. That wonderful, it's like a gray lavender, but it still has some variegation there in the yarn that you can see. Oh, it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. 
Anyway, so when I was over there talking to mom and dad on that same night, she had this out and it was being blocked and had it laid out and she said, it's a really pretty scarf, but it's it's just barely too short to, um, you know, wrap it around and tuck it in or just, you know, do two things. And so I said, well, why don't you just knit it together into like an infinity scarf and then I can just, you know, wear it over twice. So. Sure enough, she had enough left on one of the ends and just went ahead and put it together. So now I have another purple, another purple knit from my mom. No green or blue or pink ones. Although we went and rummaged around through her, um, her stash of yarn and I found a beautiful uh, model-y, it's like green and blue and rich, you know, rich deep colors. Um, purple with a short a short repeat um, sort of like a heather and so she's going to knit me either a, a shawlette or a scowl or maybe even a shawl out of it so I think it's uh, it's either lace weight or fingering weight anyway a small one for all you knitters you know what that means I have a clue so there you go I think that's everything I really I think that's everything. Oh man, it's not, didn't take as long as I thought it would because, I don't know, I guess I opened up the silly things out of the uh, stitchy box too fast. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for everybody who watches and subscribes. Thanks to everybody who goes out there and checks out the Flubies. Good for you. Um, I really appreciated it when Joe uh, Gregoire gave me a shout out when I first started out. And so that was really that was really helpful and I really, you know, enjoyed it. So, you know, pay it forward. Make sure everybody gets a chance to be heard. You guys have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great whatever. If you can only go for a minute being great, you make that minute the greatest you can be. Hugs and stitches, you guys. Bye. Now, let's do, my brain has wandered off somewhere else, so we're going to pause here awkwardly. I made a miss, little cat. <laughs>